New government data shows roughly 100 million people in this country are obese. That's no good, right? What about this? Our four-legged friends, they're following in our footsteps. One in three American pets are now obese. Think about that. Veterinarian and nutrition specialist, Dr. Lisa Weath, joins us now with more on this. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Why is Fido trending in our footsteps? Why is Fido getting so fat? Well, uh, it's no surprise. So dogs, dogs and cats, and dogs especially, mirror our lifestyles. And they're part of the family. So a lot of it has to do with we get busy. It's a lot easier to give a treat rather than take them on a walk or interact and play ball in the backyard. So it's just, so a lot of it has, has to do with just lifestyle. Dogs have different energy requirements and so it's important to know what your individual needs. So one in three pets is obese. Another one in three is overweight. So it's a, the problem is even bigger than just the obesity. So it's very similar in many ways to the statistics of humans. It is, they, where, they are Where say a third of humans are obese, a third are overweight, which means almost 70% or right around 70% yep. of us are overweight or obese. Same thing with, with pets. It is, the problem is there's a lot of health risks that come along with obesity in our pets. So even, even if they're just a little obese and they're not quite as rotund as some of these pictures, it increases the risk of arthritis and worsens arthritis. They can, get, they can tear cruciates in their knees just like we can. And I read 82% increase in arthritis in, arthritis. in the last and it 10 makes years in dogs. It makes it worse. It can also decrease their lifespan by almost two years. Now, so we're you, loving them I'm to death. And I'm sure obesity, same as in adults, higher incidence of cancers. Uh, dogs get diabetes so, too. Yeah, so it increases the risk for diabetes. If they have heart and lung problems, it can make that worse. And so mm -hmm. breathing problems, especially in dogs like the pug in the picture, it's really hard to move air around and for your heart to pump if you have all this extra weight around it. So it's a health risk for our dogs. So what are your top tips when so it comes to pudgy pets? Be mindful of snacks and how many treats you're giving. Treats should be no more than about 10 to 15% of the total intake for the day. And that means you also have to scale back their meals. So it's not just an addition on top of it. Um, using lower calorie treats. So some dogs like things like raw broccoli or carrots to chew on or celery, frozen strawberries. So something that provides, it still gives that treat approval, but doesn't have the same calorie count. I hate to say this and acknowledge it, but dogs also are much like humans in that if I ever gave my dog a piece of broccoli, <laughs> It, ain't, it, it is not getting eaten unless I hide it in something yeah. else. Some dogs aren't going to eat their broccoli for sure. But a bit, another big no-no is feeding them human food too, yeah. and that's such such a, uh, a normal yeah. instinct. You, did, you didn't finish all of yours. You're eating, and you give you yeah. give them some. Not a good extra. idea. And, and I would say for vegetables, it's good to start when they're younger. So get them used to it, just like kids. You know, if they don't see idea. the vegetables or Never the fruit on a regular that. basis, they may not want to eat it when they're three yeah. or four. So being mindful of treats, being mindful of how many calories are in the food you're feeding, because dog food's about 400 calories per cup. And if you have a 30 pound dog, they may only need 800 calories a day. So that's two cups of food. And it's really easy to give a little bit over that. And if you do two and a half plus the treats, now you're feeding them to be a 40 pound dog. I would challenge people the next time they take their pup to the vet, their cat or their dog, look at the weight and see if it's gone up. And if it has, use your dog as an excuse to go for more walks, not as an excuse to eat more food for the two of you. Yeah. And I think we need, to, we need to reverse this trend. And if we don't do it for ourselves, do it for our pups. Yeah. And that's what's crazy is a lot of us, literally, we care more about our pup self than our own. Dr. Weed, thanks so much for Thank being here. Thank you very much for having me.